Okay, so for this particular build of the Crusader, we have six abilities. I'm going to layer them all in, and then we'll unleash hell on the enemies towards the end. So we start on the outskirts of Westmarch. Um, the Crusader has heard about the massacre happening in the city, and so he doesn't know all of the details of what's going on or why, but he immediately makes his way there to try to put an end to the killing. The Nephilim. And right off the bat, you run into Borak. He's the young Haradrim uh, that Tyrael sent to find you during the cinematic. So he's got a, a quick message for you before you send him off to get Tyrael and bring him back to the city. And even here, as you're actually looking down, you see West March in the distance. And looking there, you can actually tell that something obviously is not quite right. And uh, maybe we should go down there and explore a little bit further. So the first two abilities I've been showing off are Fist of the Heavens, this one, and Punish, which is one of his primary attacks with his flail. As we move into the city, we're going to use Shield Glare. Holy Energy comes down from the heavens, reflects off your shield, and blinds your enemies. So obviously bad things are happening in the city here. As you start to run into people fleeing. And you're going to see here how Malthael is able to actually turn the people of Westmarch into his, his reapers, his death constructs and turn them against their friends. And let's show off another ability. Here's Consecration. We'll let them surround me first. Well, while me or my enemies stand within the circle, or my allies stand within the circle, we're healed. In addition, this has a rune where enemies take holy fire damage. So Kevin, it looks like Malthael has sealed the gate, and you're going to have to find another way into the city. And as you do, you'll... You'll notice that anytime you come across these corpses, they'll rise to fight you, because anything that's dead is a tool of Malthael. Now, as we see Kevin here sort of uh, trying to find a different entry into Westmarch, you'll see a great example of the seamless switching between interior spaces and exterior spaces. So as he's here finding the actual entryway, uh, going inside, and this is the waterway. And as you can see, the lighting changes, and we're now in an interior space. Again, it's really important those transitions really help sell a sense of place. Makes Westmarch feel like a real city in, uh, in Sanctuary. And again, it really shows off the great Gothic feel uh, in the architecture of Westmarch. So you're about to find a small group of refugees huddling here. They're actually out of danger because they're, they're safe inside the walls. So you're, if you're searching for refugees, you're going to need to keep moving. And so you can run right past them. We're trying to keep a lot of the storytelling as ambient as possible. And now we're about to meet one of Malthel's signature lieutenants, the Death Maiden. She does this horrible thing to these people and then gets away. So you don't get to fight her yet, but hopefully you'll track her down later. We're going to activate the Law of Valor. Yeah, it's a passive ability, much like the mantras, where I gain extra damage as I do critical hits, um, but it also has an activation bonus of extra damage for everybody. So the only ability we haven't seen yet is Falling Sword. Let's do that now. Artillery Strike. Now, as Kevin's making his way up here, you can see that there's a wide variety of environments in West March. We're trying to really sort of uh, make it uh, interesting for the players uh, from moving for tight spaces where you have to use different strategies and tactics to wide open spaces where you actually fight uh, your way through West March. Here's a good example of tactics. I'm with melee enemies here. There's two archers at the side. Let's take them out. Oh. <laughs> well, nice work. Item. Hold on, the oh. game is about loot. Oh, an upgrade. Awesome. So now the Crusader is making his way into the cathedral. And this is where he's heard a rumor that there's a bunch of refugees hiding, and they're not safe here. So the Crusader's got to get into the cathedral and try to stabilize the situation before he can worry about anything else. Just save as many civilians as possible. And one of the things I really love about the Crusader is how the tactical combinations of all the skills to really give a really great feeling as a uh, for the player. You can come up with some great one, two, three combos. And you saw that a bunch of those Reapers were running towards the Cathedral, and that's because they can sense life. 
when they sense the living nearby, they're going to make right for it and try to end it. Not enough left. So now um, Tyrael shows up. Lorath ran and got him. He's here. He's injured, but he's ready to team up with you. And now that you two have joined forces, you're going to be able to, uh, to go into that cathedral and find out what's going on, because it might not be pretty. Oh, that looks friendly. <laughs> looks great. Yeah, yeah, no trouble ahead. So some bad stuff happened here. But at last, you get to confront that Death Maiden. So now it's a chance to fight her. And it looks like she was creating some kind of a spell with that black orb. And we don't know what that is yet, but we may find out at another time. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about tactics. The, the Death Maiden teleports around a lot, so I have sort of three different ways of stopping her. I can strike at a distance, I can blind her, and I can use Falling Sword for that distance strike when she runs away. Goodies. So we found two special Crusader weapons, the Crusader's Shield, which again, the armor percentage is part of the Crusader's damage. This is a massive upgrade here. And we found a legendary item. So targeted legendaries are a new system we have. Um, because I'm playing the Crusader and it's the first time I've killed this boss, I get a guaranteed legendary. This particular one is God Butcher. It's perfect for the Crusader because it has a chance to pull its enemies in and slow them, and so you're right in the middle of the action always where you want to be. When you guys play this demo, in just a little while, you're going to be able to try this weapon out yourself. All right, thanks, guys. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks. Brian.